Okay, it's time for part three of Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf. So if you all remember Ferdinand, what is his favorite thing to do? That's right, sit under the cork tree and smell the flowers. And remember, at first his mother worried about him. She thought he would be lonesome. But when she saw that he was not lonesome, and he was happy, she let him be, because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow. I love that line. <laughs> so Ferdinand grows bigger and stronger, and his friends all want to be in the bullfight in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He just wants to sit under the tree. But one day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. Those are funny hats, aren't they? All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. They are really showing off, aren't they? Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. Look how much bigger and stronger he is getting now. He's a flower and a butterfly he's checking out. What is that? He didn't look where he was sitting. And instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Boys and girls, what happens if you sit on a bumblebee? Yes, it's going to sting you and it is going to hurt. Look at his eyes. You can tell he just got stung, can't you, by looking at that picture? Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Woo! Look at him go. And the corks are flying off the tree. And the bee is all shook up. Look at the little lines around him. It means he's shaking. <laughs> Wow, did it hurt! Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him. Uh-oh. What do you think they want to do? The five men saw him, and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. Is that what Ferdinand wants to do? Do you think he would be good at fighting? Is he fierce and mean and wanting to fight? Hmm... I can't wait to see how this ends, but we're going to stop there for today. So you're going to get your Ferdinand book out, and you're going to read pages 26 to 38. So this will be your last page. Real quick, I need to go over the words. I didn't do the words for part three. Okay. Oh, look at these animals. They have big teeth and they're growling. Think about some of the words we just read. Fierce. Fierce. The IE phonogram making its first sound. Fierce. Hmm. What do you think those boys are doing? Fighting, wrestling. Oh, they are playing rough. O-U-G-H. Which sound is it saying uh? Which sound is that? O, U, uh. Third sound, rough. Okay, we have a red group and we have a green group. And then we have the clear 
um, what are those called? Um, the little teddy bears that you eat. <laughs> you know what they're called. This guy is in the middle. Very good. Middle. Middle. Now here is a cartoon bull. And look at what his nose is doing. That's doing this with his nose. That's called snorting. Snorting. Okay, this one must not have a picture, yeah. Instead, instead, the EA is making the short E sound F. Instead. And we have a, probably a soccer team here, and they're holding the trophy, so they have won. They are proud. They are the proudest. Proudest. And we know what this is from just read the story. What kind of bee is that? Bumble. Very good. There's that L-E syllable. Bumble. Okay, let's read all these words again. Ready? Fierce. Rough. Middle. Snorting. Instead. Bumble. Proudest. Great job. Okay, go read your pages in Ferdinand with your very best expression. <laughs>